Hello, Megan here. I go by the Heartened Homeschool Mama. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook. I also have Bowen blogs with tons of homeschool resources and encouragement for moms. So today I'm going to review Christian Light Education's math. No one is paying me to say this. I just absolutely love this resource. For reference, I am actually a math teacher by study. I taught high school math for six years before I decided to stay home with my own kids. So math is my area of training. I was very particular about the type of math resource that I decided to use. So let me go ahead and walk you through Christian Light Education and why we absolutely love it. First of all, just what does math look like in a homeschool with five kids actually? It usually looks like this. I grab all of my teacher's guides, I pull them all out. I will often have my kids sitting around here and I'll just set each of their guides by them so that I can open it up and look whenever I need to. About the light units, there are 10 for every year's worth of curriculum. So each of those light units, um, so for her, for her grade six, there's gonna be 10 different booklets. Within each book, there's gonna be 17 lessons of those 17 lessons, two of those are quiz days and one of those, the final one, is a test day. So there are exactly 170 lessons per year. Right, so we've got the little one over here, hopefully being occupied. And we're gonna start with the youngest age that we currently have, which is this precious girl. And she is in light unit level two, so the second year, second grade, and she's in 208, so eight tenths of the way through this. And you can see, first of all, one of the things that I love about the younger grades in Christian light education is that every light unit has a theme. So this theme is what happens in spring. And it's just kind of a fun way to work some extra information into that light unit. So all of the word problems um, are gonna kind of pull in that spring concept, plants, you've got a little bit of art and just stories that are going to actually have a theme. So that's kind of fun. So then in the second grade, they're doing they're still showing you what is my absolute favorite thing about the younger years in Christian Light, which is a very systematic way of working through the basics. So in first grade especially, we're really emphasizing number value. So we've got a counting chart here. We're doing a lot of things with place value. We're doing a lot of basic counting forwards, backwards, by twos, by fives, by tens. Here's counting by 25 to 500. Um, we've got practicing your K and times five flashcards for five minutes. So what does that mean? This is one of my favorite things about Christian Light is their flashcard system for first and second grade. So not all flashcards are created equal and certainly not the way that you use them. So they have a full set of flashcards. You can tell ours are very well used. And depending on what grade you're in, and we at one time had a first and second grader, so we had to have two sets of these, because depending on what grade you're in is how you're gonna organize your flashcards. So today, when it says practice your K flashcards, we're gonna come here and we're gonna find all those K flashcards. So you're not having to constantly practice all of them, you're just practicing systematically the ones that it tells you to, which is gonna keep you from over exhausting yourself, but also from missing entire sets of numbers. And so we're gonna go through and we're gonna practice those flashcards. And it's gonna tell you exactly which ones to do each day. Now the times tables, I will say these are just basic flashcards. So um, if you already have a set of times table flashcards, that's probably fine. Uh, because for those, it's just telling you according to uh, the number set. So of course that, the multiplication flashcards would work with any type of flashcard from the store. But the addition and subtraction flashcards, these, they're just so unique the way that it is. And it's kind of hard to necessarily see, but trust me, buy their flashcard set for addition and subtraction. You will use them in grade one and grade two for sure every single day. All right, then daily, it also has a speed drill, which of course, if this stresses your child out, you don't have to do as a speed drill, but we have always loved it. And these are always in the back of your book. So you've got speed drills, again, just 
reinforcing those basics constantly. Then they also use the speed drills and your score for the speed drill. Abby, show me your um, chart for this. Yes. This lesson, no, your way of keeping track of it. Oh, here we go. So my speed drills, and actually you didn't do this, we need to go back and they're gonna have a different type of graph. They'll have um, circle graphs, bar graphs, different kinds of ways to keep track. So this is just an extra little way of keeping track of your score and just learning a little bit more using your speed drill. Okay, so let's go back to a lesson. Then they're gonna have record your score. That was that circle graph that I just showed you. And then they will have a short lesson with new, a short section of new material. This is consistent with every level of Christian light. They are a spiral uh, curriculum, meaning they are not going to give you a big chunk of information in a chapter unit, but they're going to daily give you a small piece of new information and then you're going to practice that as well as tons of we remember information. So they are constantly spiraling review throughout the curriculum. That's important to know what your style is as a teacher and what your student's style is. Do you want a spiral curriculum? Awesome, okay. you're done, hold on. Do you want a spiral curriculum that is constantly reviewing or do you want to focus on one particular thing for a while, for a whole chapter? My preference and as a math teacher, what I think is best is absolutely spiral. That was a big deal to me. I wanted that constant review so that let's say for example, um, clocks, that was a hard concept for my kids. I don't want to focus on clocks entirely for you know, three weeks and then move on from it and very rarely come back and review. I don't wanna do that. I want that very small piece of new information, whatever it is, introduced, and then I wanna be able to practice that some and then continue constantly reviewing all sorts of math concepts that are constantly mixed in. So that is something about Christian Light that I absolutely love. Okay, as far as the quizzes and the test, every light unit, just practically, you're gonna notice that right smack in the middle, they have a test for you. So usually I pull this out before I even give it to my children. So you're gonna pull that nice test out and put that aside for when they finish their light unit. You also have at the back of the book, you have two quizzes. So Abby is actually doing a quiz today. We pulled out quiz one. It told her that that was what she had to do today. So she's working on quiz one. We've got quiz two for later. And then at the end of the light unit, we've got our test. And then as far as a teacher, what I wanna do is every day, I'm usually checking her work, pulling it out, pulling out my teacher's guide, and I can check any of her answers. Okay, we've got all the answers here. Of course, giving immediate feedback is best for a child. And then let's say that you are not a natural math teacher and you need some help teaching these lessons. Well, that is what is fantastic about these teaching guides is they're gonna give you tips on teaching the lesson. And they're always giving you some extra practice as well. So they're giving you like board work for you to go ahead and do with your child. So they're not just giving you uh, the answers to the questions that are in the book, they're gonna give you some extra practice. Mm -hmm. They're gonna give you helpful hints. They're gonna give you ideas on how to teach it if your child is struggling, for example. So I don't seem to be coming across any great examples here, but uh, there's just, trust me, there's a lot of um, information for the teacher, ideas on how you can help. All right, so that is second grade. All right, now I'm gonna jump on over to grade six. This is the next grade that I happen to have at the time that we have done all of them through grade nine. Um, this is, first of all, what I was mentioning, how the teacher's guides have not just the answers, but have a lot of helpful hints with extra board work. So for example, here is all extra board work 
beyond the examples that they have in the book for you to discuss with your child or them to read on their own, depending on how much help they need, but you're having extra examples that are given to you in the teacher's guide. So this is, for example, what a sixth grade teacher's guide would look like. Tips for struggling students. They're gonna give you that extra information. I will say that for the most part, I don't have to look at this much, and I don't mean because I'm a math teacher, I mean because the book itself is really sufficient. Go ahead and show us a lesson. Um, and it's just sufficient with their examples that they're already giving you within the book. So, okay, now this is actually an odd book for me to be showing you. So this is 601. So this is also important to know about Christian Light Education. Every first light unit, so she's at the beginning of the sixth grade. So whether it was 201, 301, whatever, every 01 first light unit of the year is gonna be a review book. So first to notice, this child's on 208, this child's on 601, this one's on uh, 704, I believe. The 04 is saying, or the 01 is saying how far throughout the year they are. Clearly, I don't mandate that my kids are all on the same exact um, part of the year. So we want to complete at least a year in math each year, but some of them have completed more or some of them needed to slow down. And so that's okay. So we just always do the next thing. And again, that's another wonderful thing about spiral uh, curriculums. So anyways, back to every 01 unit is gonna be all about review. And so this one's a little different in that it's gonna have a pretest and then review for every single lesson, you're gonna do a pretest and then a practice set if you needed it. So every 01 is kind of seeing, do you need this extra practice or do you remember what was taught to you last year? So she did the pretest on algebra. She passed it, oh, lots of scribbles here. And so we would have, I don't know why we did it, uh, skipped this practice set and gone to the next pretest. And then if she did well, skipped some of that. So anyways, that's every 01. So if you were unsure, let's say, if your child was ready for a level, you could always just get the 01 and see how they do. Um, or you can go on their website and maybe take a test or do some of their sample units from the previous year. They have sample units on everything. Okay, so this is sixth grade. 601, let's go ahead and go to 602, and let me show you also what is consistent with every, uh, every grade, every unit that you will find in your teacher's guide, and that's a really nice overview. So we've got information about what she's going to cover in 602. We've got all the lesson skills and concepts, and then if you wanted to add some manipulatives, we have suggestions for that. So this is where if let's say I have a child who's doing really well and we want to move more quickly, I would come look at my lessons, skills and concepts and I would see things that might go together. Or if you notice this is in italics, that's because that's a little bit of review. So italics is gonna be some review concepts, but most of them are normal font and that means that's new material. So we've got a little review maybe from the previous year. And some of these have a lot of review. This seems like a little bit more than normal, maybe because it's at the beginning of the year. Um, and some of them have, most of them are gonna have most new material. Okay, so that's a look at sixth grade. Also in every grade level, we have reference charts. So that starts way back in those younger years. They look a little differently. We've got some reference charts for grades two through six as they move up. Uh, those reference charts change a little bit and they're including different things, but my kids always have their reference charts sitting right next to them as they work. And then when they move up into algebra, they're gonna get more there. Okay, this is seventh grade. I don't know if there's anything really specific I need to say about that. You've seen um, how this works, but I do want to mention quickly before I move on to algebra, just some of my favorite manipulatives for those younger years in that first and second grade. 
I absolutely love a clock that you can hand move in especially first grade when they're learning place value. I think a simple set like this of, um, of little foam blocks to learn the ones, tens, and one hundreds units is so important. We use this all the time, especially when we're dealing with uh, subtraction and borrowing, learning how to take a tens unit, break it back down into 10 individual ones, move um, between the numbers, place value, so important. This is probably one of my absolute most used items in those younger years. So a lot with that in the manipulatives category. All right, let's look at the fun subject of algebra. Woohoo! I was so excited when I had a child who finally got to the high school level and I got to teach algebra. Yahoo! Yay. Okay. Ben actually started algebra a bit ago. He is on six of ten. So he is six tenths of the way through his algebra year, and it has been wonderful. For all of you who question whether or not Christian Light Education is good enough for high school level, let me tell you it is. This so six tenths of the way through, and we're loving it. So right now we've been working a lot on slope intercept form, it has been a challenge for sure. So we, we have a lot of red, but we're doing good here. Um, this is quality, quality material. So let's take this for example. So 6.1, we're working on graphing uh, from the X and Y intercepts. All right, so let me do say about this. Unfortunately, this is a level when the answer key and teacher's guide changes. So this hasn't been a problem for me, but I would, and I, I wish that they would update this, but this is now just a answer key, not a teacher's guide as in those younger years. So you don't have teaching tips. You don't have extra examples in here. You just simply have the answers. Now they have the answers with the work shown. So that is very helpful if they didn't understand Problem number one, it's not just the answer, but you see that there's no helpful hints, there's no extra practice, things like that. So I would say that is a little unfortunate thing if, for example, you as a parent had no math knowledge um, in the high school years, this could potentially be a problem. With that said, they continue with the fantastic explanations in the booklets themselves. So this has just been so quality that though there aren't extra teaching tips, there are plenty of examples and teaching uh, extras within the book. Okay, so let me get to a clean page. Ooh, we had fun with that one, right? <laughs> that was after a vacation. We had a lot to review and remember. Okay, so he's doing quiz one right now. Okay, so this will be tomorrow. So we've got stem and leaf plots. We've got great explanations. We've got examples. And then we have that same spiral review um, of past lessons there. Okay, we've got the same format of two quizzes per light unit and a nice test in the middle for us to pull out. I think I already did that for this one. So I absolutely love Christian Light Education's algebra. I 100% recommend Christian Light Education for their math as a a math teacher, I have loved it, I approve, I think I am setting them up for success. This has been the one subject in our decade of homeschooling that I really have not questioned. I've always been so happy with this. So if you have any questions, let me know or head on over to check out Christian Light Education Math. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. You can follow me, The Heartened Homeschool Mama, on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest for more ideas, reviews, and encouragement. Also, head on over to WordPress to find Bowen blogs for more.